Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're taking a look at Cora. That's right. I love to go through there and see what questions people are asking about Harry and Meghan. And it usually ends up, you know, sparking some conversations between us here um, on the channel. And I always enjoy that. So I thought, you know what, let's see what the more recent questions are that people are asking about them and see if we can discuss amongst ourselves. You guys, thanks so much for being here. Honk, honk, everybody. So something that keeps coming up, I keep seeing it on Twitter and different places, is uh, different news outlets that there are rumors of a move. So this person asks, why would Harry and Meghan no longer be happy in their $14 million Montecito mansion and decide to move into a building worth at least $22 million? So I don't know what they're talking about on the building, but I, like I say, I keep hearing rumblings of a move and in another video I talked about how move all you want I don't think geography is the uh is the problem here I don't think that will solve anything for either of them or will mysteriously or miraculously make them find happiness and then somebody answers I believe the reason that Madame Markle has been totally excluded by the residents of their community due to their relationship with the royal family in order for Madame Markle to create her own branding, she needed to move herself to a place where the money is. Yep, rebranding herself to be something, anything, is her lifelong ambition. Yep, totally sad, dysfunctional, covert narcissist. It's all about me, or should we say, look at me. Yep, totally agree. I, I, It strikes me how many times she tries to rebrand herself and... Normal people just don't have to do that. All right, question. What do you think Meghan Markle doesn't have? Sir, a brain, a heart, a conscience, <laughs> a soul, any talent, any class. Another answer, breeding her class, dress sense, and she has a personality of a dead aunt. You guys, that I don't know why that's so specifically funny to me, but it, it really, it Hit the nail on the head. I love that they bring up her dress sense and the personality of a dead aunt. Okay, more things that uh, Meghan Markle doesn't have. Prince William. Ooh, a happy marriage. Class, dignity, respect. Uh, an adoring husband. A loving family. Friends, beauty, a career. Self-awareness are just some of the things she doesn't and never will have. Then this person says, class, grace, a brain, acting skills, the ability to keep a husband, the ability to be honest and respectful. Okay, I included this one because I thought it was juicy and I actually hadn't heard this and I was curious if you guys had. Why did Meghan Markle roar in anger and what was Ellen's response when she refused to lend the Sussexes 500000 for their Europe trip and instead told them to pay off their old debts. What are we talking about? Do you guys know about this? Did she ask Ellen for money? I'm not necessarily surprised by that. I just hadn't heard this before. Have you heard this? Apparently others have heard of this because this person answers because she thought her friendship entitled her to ask for money. Ellen is very careful of her and Portia's money which is why they still have it. If Megan did ask, I'm sure she was very disappointed to not get the money and she would be angry with Ellen's advice as a narcissist would be because Ellen did not give her what she wanted in that second. And then this person says, good for Ellen. Ellen's right. Why give them money when they owe more money? The debts won't go away unless you make arrangements to pay them down to reduce the money they owe. The Sussexes need to get off their high horses, tighten their belts, go smaller, cut expenses. Yeah, okay, we get it. So I, I'm very curious about this. Have you guys heard this? Um, they also bring up guests Marcus Anderson refused to sponsor a vacation for them. Now they have to live like the rest of us, dot, 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 on a budget. Have you heard this? That's very fascinating. Again, it's not that I don't... I don't believe she would do it. I just hadn't heard this story. All right, question. Do Harry and Meghan have a fan base? Answer, only each other. I would add to that, Meghan is her own biggest fan. And also, every time I see this picture, I can't help but laugh, you guys. Woo, this is that Time Magazine one that I love to trot out once in a while. Oh my goodness. He looks like her stylist here. They made them the same height. Oh, 
so much wrong with this picture. They added hair for him. Yikes. Answer. Oh, yes, the Sussex Squad, known as the Sugars. They're out there. They claim to be paid per word for each tweet against the British royal family and praising their leader. I've noticed the majority are semi-literate. I think that's putting it nicely. They will. They all believe Megzi is a second coming and refuse to accept that she lies, even when it's been proven. Oh, we've experienced that. Despite her hatred for the royal family, she has bestowed tit- titles on her and visit kids, and her squaddies call her queen. They even call her America's royal family. Oh, I'm joking on the irony. They've been, they've even fundraised for Invisalily's birthday and early on because they believe they were broke. They actually raised 80000 Is that true for Lily? I remember this being a thing, but I didn't know that's the number. Um, don't know what it was spent on. The worst part for me is their evil campaign against William and Catherine, which is totally uncalled for. They are evil. Yeah, I can attest to this. I have many videos on them. Definitely go check those out and you'll understand why they're called semi-literate. I would say, again, that's being kind. But um, yeah, definitely out there. Honk, honk, everybody. If you know, you know. Question, are Harry and Meghan headed for a breakup? Answer, I think it's already happened. It's just a matter of time for the divorce to be announced. And it's going to be a messy one. The bitch is going to play dirty. What? When have we ever known her to go on and spill details of personal and private information and make up the other shit, you know, that can easily be proven wrong? Oh, what? All the time? That's her MO? Yeah. I think it's going to be dirty and I think there'll be a lot of that, a lot of mudslinging, and I'll be here for it. Answer, no, they're not headed for a breakup. They've already broken up. Now it's just a matter of working out the final amount the harlot can extract from has none. Not a lot left by now, I would imagine. So this is interesting. Do you think that they've already broken up? We keep hearing rumblings of it. We've heard about his, you know, alleged side, whatever, pads or whatever, hotels. Um, I'm just curious. Do you think that they've already split? We know he's headed to Africa solo here soon for Netflix. And uh, just wondering uh, if you think that it's already happened or if we're just on our way. Are Harry and Meghan that big-headed? Answer, yes. And they're really that stupid, too. Oh, yes, they are. Plus big ego, big opinion, big spending, big cruelty, and big, big trouble. Does Prince Harry help Meghan Markle a lot? I don't believe so. They seem to bring out the worst in each other. Why are Harry and Meghan upset about William and Catherine's privileged status? It's quite simple. They're both green with envy. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, formerly, were always going to automatically become the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall when Prince Charles became king and would inherit income and responsibilities from the Duchy of Cornwall. It's alleged that Harry wanted to split the income from the Duchy between them, half the money, none of the responsibility. So we had talked about this in another video, but it's been alleged that Harry approached his family with, I can't even keep the laughter out of my voice, with the idea of being co-prince of Wales and co-future king, and he wanted to have a hand in the Duchy of Cornwall account, and his family very rightly allegedly told him, go F yourself on that one, and basically laughed him out of the room. Of course, he's confused, but what else is new? And um, Megan was pissed. What's heartbreaking about Harry and Megan? This is a great answer. Here we go. He's a spare. She's full of air. No one cares. They're tragically desperate. He has no clue, and she's a heartless bitch who wants, uh, let's see, who wants what she wants without consideration to anyone or anything. Yeah, I would say that pretty much sums them up. All right, what is the single story that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have to tell? Answer, we are victims and we want dot, dot, dot. Question, what is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's biggest flop? You guys, somebody just put this picture here and it's making me laugh so hard. We all know this. The uh, Duchess of Hearts, this is the night where they gave themselves the award and then 
had an imaginary car chase, which by the way, it bugs me so bad that no more information has come out. No, I don't know, charges have been pressed. No, anything, nothing. And what I mean by charges pressed, I mean against these two for filing false police information or whatever they did. I don't even know if they filed a report, but just wasting everybody's time and, and, and lying about this uh, alleged near catastrophic car chase. You know, we need more information about this. I don't want to let this drop because it's so crazy. And uh, we keep hearing stories of people making up crime. So how is this any different? I ask you. It's not. So again, the question was about their biggest flop answer themselves. Big ideas, subpar execution. Few people care if a show they watch is produced by a duke and duchess. Once they launched their bombshell, nothing was next. There are others who sell grievance and guilt far better. Given their dif- uh, distance from the crown, the sheen Harry and Meghan once lent to a show business property is dimming. I'd say it's beyond dim at this point. It's dark. And to see what went down with the podcast... And the obscene amount of money they were paid and the little to no work they put into it. Oh, who would want them attached to anything? Question, if Harry was not royalty, would Meghan Markle have fallen for him? (laughs) I love this answer. You ready? Please. The woman has never not dated someone rich, famous, or connected. Meghan is the definition of a romantic predator. Someone who does not date for love, but defines someone to use and advance themselves. Her boyfriend in college, a famous basketball player. Her rumored fling, Joe Giuliani, a well-connected entertainment lawyer. Her first husband that she used to get into Hollywood, a TV producer. Her Canadian boyfriend, a well-connected celebrity that could help her get into Canada's top social circles. Prince Harry, a famous and wealthy prince that would make her famous for life. Don't you think it's odd that Meghan only dates well-connected men who would advance her social circle and career? That's because it is odd. In fact, it's predatory dating. It's women using men for their own advancement, not love. And this behavior is both sexist and wrong. Question, are Prince Harry and Meghan Markle getting what they deserve? Answer, absolutely, with a cherry on top. Mm, Chef's kiss, couldn't agree more. Fun to watch, actually. And if I even kind of start to think, oh, wow, you know, it sucks for these people, I think, no, they put the queen through hell. So they've only done this to themselves, and I'm not the least bit sorry watching it all fall down on their heads now. Is Prince Harry afraid of Meghan Markle? Answer, I think Prince Harry spends his life walking on eggshells trying to keep peace with his wife as they try to save their image, especially now that she's become the laughing stock of the modern world. Spare was a horrible image that Prince Harry gave us of himself. I, for one, would would have been okay not knowing about this, well, his royal member, for example. That's a particular member of the royal family that I literally wish I had no knowledge of. Nor did I really want the image of him rubbing lotion on himself and having a reminder of his mother. Guys, the fact that I can even say these sentences, bleh, it's so gross. That's so disturbing on so many levels. Yes, it is. I think Megan gets a little unhinged, so, she, so he has to watch himself. However... He's been known to have a temper too, so who knows what goes on between the two. Ding, ding, ding. I think therein lies what's going to happen when the divorce is announced. We'll start to see that narrative coming out. That he'll say that he had to walk on eggshells around her. She'll say, look at his book. He clearly had a problem with substances and anger and that sort of thing. And I think we'll see it... um, We'll see it coming out of both of them. I really do. So it'll be interesting to watch. And I'm here for it with the popcorn. Honk, honk, everybody. You guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I love going through these question and answers. Interesting points. Interesting comments. Learn some stuff. Want to know more about the Ellen stuff. Want to research that. But uh, let me know your thoughts on this one. Let me know if you knew about the Ellen stuff. What your thoughts are on all of this. I can't wait to read the comments on this one. You guys are awesome. 
If you want to further support the show, definitely check out the merch. We got Drunk Goose Club, Honk Honk Everybody. We got uh, Make It Make Sense, Recollections May Vary. Also, I encourage you to have a look at Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where we do like bonus deep dives. Sometimes Jay and I just get on and talk. We talk about what's going on with the channel or what's going on with our lives, that sort of thing. But we also do extra content on Harry and Megan. We got stuff coming out about every other day. So tons of stuff over there. Check that out. That's also where you can become an executive producer. So now I'm going to thank my executive producers. A huge thank you to Linda. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you to Paige. Huge thank you to Teresa. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Aaron and Frank. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Ann M. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Ann H. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Glennis. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Adair Becker. Thank you to Erica. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Annette. Thank you, Barb G. Thank you to Diana. Thank you, Allison B. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Lori. Thank you to Pauline. Thank you to KT. Thank you, Jolene. Thank you, Stromboli. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Loey. Thank you, Lucy H. Thank you to Georgia. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Robin's Landing. Thank you to Helen. Thank you to Mara. Thank you, Ashley C. Thank you to Molly. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Sand Squid. Thank you to Rach. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Dee Dee. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Dombey. Thank you, Android P. Thank you to Sheena. Thank you, Aaron M. Thank you, Faye. Thank you, Judith. Thank you, Spectrum Mom. Thank you, Vanessa B. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Mimi Heathcote. Thank you, Misty. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you to Bree. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you to Elvis Rose here on YouTube. Thank you to Lori. Thank you, Tim B. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Elisa. Thank you, Kathy with a C. Thank you, Allison. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you to Patricia. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Ridley. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, John. Thank you, Donna D. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Chewy. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, 509 Cougs. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, BJ. Thank you, Big Bad John. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Duck Barf. Your name is always funny to me. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Vicky Loves Her Corgi. Thank you, Sharice. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Genesee. Thank you, Essie. Thank you, Lady Grandmother. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Funky Buddha. And thank you, Trish. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Kate Coffee. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Bree. Thank you, Kay Cubed. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you, Stregoria. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, Paul. Can you guys believe I ran out of <laughs> namespace on the other ones? I had to start a new list here. It's just unbelievable. Thank you to everybody who has signed up to be an executive producer. If you're interested, definitely check out patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. Thank you guys for everything. Have a great day. Bye-bye.